Hello everyone, I am Karan Masru. Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to discuss solution of the problem of the day that is minimum multiplications to reach end. First of all, let us start by understanding the question. What does question say? It says that given start end and an array ARR of n numbers. So basically in the input, we have two numbers as a start and end and we have an array which contains n numbers. At each step, start is multiplied with any number in the array and then mod operation with 10 key power 5 is done to get the new start value. So basically at each step, what we are doing is initially we have the value of uh, the number start. Then we multiply any of the array elements out of the n numbers with the start element and take modulo 10 key power 5. And the new element which we get is considered as the new start number. Okay, we'll see the example, you'll get a very clear idea. Your task is to find minimum steps in which end can be achieved starting from start. If it's not possible to reach end, then return minus 1. So basically, we will start with the number which is given in the variable start and in each step, we will multiply it with any of the array elements and take modulo with 10 key power 5. And we'll keep doing this until the num we get the number equals to end okay so we need to tell what is the minimum number of steps to reach end starting from starts and performing these operations and if it is not possible to reach end then we will return minus one so if we look at the example then here one example is given in which we have three elements two five and seven and the start element is three and end element is 30 so let us understand this in detail so we are given this example in which n is equals to 3 and we are given 3 elements in the array which are equals to 2, 5 and 7. Our start element is equal to 3 and end element is equals to 30. So what we need to do is we need to take the start element and multiply it with any of the array elements and take modulo 10 key power 5. Okay. And we need to keep repeating this process until we reach 30 or if we, or until we are able to know that it is not possible to reach 30. So with 3 I can multiply it with 2 or I can multiply it with 5 or I can multiply it with 7. I have 3 options so if I multiply it with 2 I will get 6 and I will take modulo 10 key power 5. So I will get basically 6. Similarly, 3 into 5 would be 15 and 15 modulo 10 key power 5 will give me 15, okay? And 3 into 7 will give me 21 and 21 modulo 10 key power 5 will give me 21. Now, I want to reach 30. So, now these are my new start elements. Again, I can multiply this number with any of the array elements. So, I can multiply 6 with 2, I can multiply 6 with 5 and I can multiply 6 with 7. So if I look at the example, 6 into 5 will give me how much? 30 and I'll take modulo 10 key power 5. So this will basically give me what? 30 and 30 is equal to nothing but what? End. So basically I need to perform two operations. From 3, I multiplied 3 with 2 and I got 6 and 6 I multiplied it with 5 and I got 30. So 3, I'll multiply it with 2 and take modulo 10 key power 5, I'll get 6 and 6, I'll multiply it with 5 and perform modulo 10 key power 5 and I'll get 30. So basically the number of operations or the number of steps required to reach end from the start element, the minimum number of steps required is 2. Okay, so the answer for this would be 2 and it is here 2. Okay, so the explanation is 3 into 2 would give me 6, 6 modulo 10 key power 5 gives me 6 and 6 into 5 is 30, 30 modulo 10 key power 5 will give me 30. So I need to perform 2 steps. Similarly, here another example is given start is 7, end is this and the array elements are this. You can look at the examples and we have here, uh, we need to perform here 4 steps. Okay. Complete the function minimum multiplications which take integer array and integer start and an integer n as the input parameters and return an integer denoting the minimum steps to reach in which end can be achieved starting from start. So we need to tell how, what are the minimum number of steps required or the minimum number of operations required to perform. Uh, on the start element such that we are able to reach end and if it is not possible we will return minus 1 right the expected time complexity is 10 key power 5 the expected space complexity is big of 10 key power 5 and the constraints are given here 
so now if we think about solving this problem then basically we are given one start value and in each operation what we can do is we can multiply any of the array elements with this start value and take a modulo 10 to the power 5 and that would become our new start value and we keep doing this until we until our start value becomes our end value so that both values matches okay now there can be multiple ways to reach from start to end so we want to tell the minimum number of steps in which we can reach from start to end so basically in one operation what's happening is that start is is equals to start multiplied by any of the array elements so let's say array of i and modulo 10 to the power 5 is taken right so we need to tell what are the minimum number of steps to reach end right so what i can do here is see i want to tell the minimum number of operations in which i can reach end okay so what I can do is I can generate all the elements which are possible after one number of operations then I can generate all the possible numbers after two number of operations I can generate all the possible numbers after three number of operations and so on until we reach end so as soon as we get the value end we will see what are the number of operations performed to reach there okay and that would be our answer why because we are traversing level by level first we are generating all the elements which are possible after doing one operation then we are generating all the elements after doing two operations and so on okay and we will not repeat any elements okay so let's see what does that mean so basically if i take this example then initially after doing zero number of steps the element which i have is three because start value initially is three and i have not performed any operations now if I multiply 3 with 2 then the number of operations becomes 1 and the value becomes 6. If I multiply 3 with 5 the number of operations becomes 1 and the value becomes 15. If I multiply 3 with 7 the number of operations becomes 1 and the value becomes 21. So after performing 1 operations I can generate 6, I can generate 15 and I can generate 21. Now let's perform operations on this so after multiplying 6 with 2 I can get value 12 and this will be after 2 number of operations after multiplying 6 with 5 I can get value 30 and this would be after 2 number of operations and after multiplying 6 with 7 I can get value 42 and this would be after 2 number of operations similarly let's do it for here also so 15 multiplied by 2 will give me 30. 15 multiplied by 5 will give me how much 75 15 multiplied by 7 will give me how much 15 multiplied by 5 is 75 so this would give me 105 right uh, and then 21 multiplied with all the three values so 21 multiplied by 2 will give me 42 21 multiplied by 5 will give me how much 105 and 21 multiplied by 7 will give me 105 plus 42 so it would be 147 right so this would be my values so we will keep generating in this way until we get the value end now we got the value end here also and here also and the minimum number of steps required is 2 this would be our answer why because we are doing level by level operations and after one number of operations we were not able to get the end value and after two number of operations we got the end value so definitely this would be the minimum number of steps so we will return two now so basically i was telling one thing that we will not repeat elements so suppose here if i talk about so suppose uh, let's say end was uh, instead of 30 it was 100 right and we have not got 100 anywhere now we will further uh, you know expand these values so i'll expand these values i'll expand the possibilities here now i have expanded the possibilities which i can get after multiplying 30 with the array elements so i can get three possibilities here the same three possibilities i will get here so i'll not do again here so once i have expanded all the possible values after get uh, after 30 i'll not do it again here because this will give me the same three values okay similarly for 105 if i'll expand it here i'll not expand it here again because those will give me the same values so why we are not expanding it again because it will give us the same value and we also need to terminate at some point of time because if it is impossible to reach and we need to terminate somewhere so if we do not you know expand the same values again at a particular point of time we will terminate our process because at each step we are taking modulo 10 to the power 5 
so the values in this boxes can range between 0 to 10 key power 5 minus 1 it cannot go beyond this there can be at max 10 key power 5 different values so if we do not uh, expand the same numbers again and we are not able to reach and at a certain point we will terminate the process now how we will implement it see understand here it is level 0 here it is level 1 i can say this is level 0 this is level 1 this is level 2 and so on so we are expanding level by level so can i apply breadth for search here so how we apply breadth for search we first in the we take a queue and push the root element of the tree then we take the neighboring nodes of the of that root element and push them in the queue then further traverse the next level so i can push the start element in the queue along with the level 0 then i can multiply that start element with the array elements and if those elements are not repeated then i can push them in the queue and further generate the tree and as soon as i reach end i'll uh, return it and if my queue becomes empty that means all the possible nodes are generated because i'll also keep a mark of the nodes which are visited before so if all the nodes are generated all the possible values are expanded and the queue becomes empty and if i'm not able to reach end then i'll return minus one now let's look at its implementation so now if you look at the implementation then as i said what we will do is we will actually perform a breadth first search starting with the start element considering it as root and we will also associate a level with it and try to expand the tree as much as possible so i have taken one queue uh, in the pair form which we use for doing breadth first search level by level traversal and in this pair i will be storing two integers so the first would be the level of the particular element which i am pushing in the queue and other would be the element number okay let's say r this denotes the level and this is the element and i have taken one mark uh, array of size 10 key power 5 which will basically tell see when we perform breadth first search we see whether that element is already pushed in the queue here also we will not be expanding the same elements again because that will give the same value so this mark of i will basically tell me whether that element is first pushed in the queue or not right so we will not push uh, expand it in further levels so that is denoted by this i have taken some variables uh, so initially i have marked all of them as zero so whenever an element will be pushed in the queue i'll mark it as one okay so it will tell me that this element has already occurred we'll start our bfs from the zeroth element uh, sorry from the start element and its level would be zero and i'll mark it as one now until the queue is not empty what we do in breadth first search take the top element of the queue and all the nodes which are reachable from there we uh, generate them and push it in the queue right here we will generate them in a graph question we look in the adjacency list which are the nodes connected to it okay so i'll take the first element that is q dot front dot second in x i'll take its level that is q dot front dot first in a variable l and i'll pop it from the q now if x is equals to end that is what we require then our answer will become equal to the level of that element so answer will become l and i'll immediately break it if i find my required element if i do not find i'll see what are the further elements which i can generate from it so how can i get it I'll traverse the array and y is equals to x multiplied by array of i modulo 10 key power 5. I'll perform operation on them and I'll check whether that element has been before pushed in the queue or not. So if mark of y is equals to is equals to 0, it means that that element has not been pushed in the queue before. Okay, it is a new element which is generated. Then I'll push in the queue and I'll push that element and its level will become l plus 1. So basically, suppose this is 3 this is at level 0 so this is 6 this is 15 this is 21 so this is at level 0 this will be at level 1 then further elements will be at level 2 and so on so its level would be l plus 1 where l was the level of x and y is generated from x so its level would be l plus 1 and once i push any element in the queue what we do in bfs we mark it that okay now this is visited so we'll keep repeating this process and this will end when either the queue will become uh, empty that is all the possible elements are generated or i'll get x is equals to end at some point of time and i'll get my answer okay and then we'll return answer right now what would be the time complexity c here it's very difficult to tell the exact time complexity but in 
if you look at the code then in q at max 10 key power 5 elements can be there okay because the values can range from 0 to 10 key power 5 minus 1 so it is 10 key power 5 and for each element we are running a for loop of size n and trying to generate new element so it is 10 key power 5 into n right but this is very in a layman terms because it's very you know that combination is very difficult to generate such that at each step we generate different different elements after taking modulo operation and neither the element is equal to end and neither the elements are repeated so neither this x will become equal to end and neither mark of y is one okay so we are generating at each step new elements as well as they are not equal to end so that combination of numbers is very difficult to get if we get that then in worst case it would be this much but to determine its exact time complexity is not that easy in this question right but it would be very less than this because when we take modulo operations lot of elements will get repeated and they will not be pushed in the queue right and we might also get end in between so it would be very less than this but it's difficult to determine the exact time complexity and what would be the auxiliary space the auxiliary space here would be big o of 10 key power 5 why because we are taking a mark array which would contain 10 key power 5 elements and even the q would at max contain 10 key power 5 elements okay so it's quite difficult to uh, calculate the exact time complexity but this is the optimal solution and this will pass the uh, solution okay now let's submit this code so let's submit it So we have solved this question successfully. I hope you have understood the solution completely. Thank you.